Welcome back into Football Friday as we get you set for more great action from the Lexington Sporting Club. Remember, things start on Saturday night as uh, they take on the Richmond Kickers. The uh, gates open at uh, 5.30. The tailgate begins at 5. Kickoff is at 7. You can get your tickets at lexsporting.com slash tickets. Coach Sam Stockley and Tariq Muhammad are here with us. Man, biggest win. Now, Tariq, I'm going to put you on the spot early. So, you know, Sam was gone for a while last week <laughs> yeah. and I asked the guys last week I, I said that different sort of voice I mean so all of a sudden he's gone for a few days you guys are revitalized and you go out and win three nothing is that what happened <laughs> something like that <laughs> something. yeah it was it was um, the group still had to keep the focus and like keep the intensity of training the same intensity that and energy that he brings yep. we try to keep the levels high and just keep the keep the momentum going, you know, even through the hard times. Yeah. Stock, for people who don't know, you went back to England really quickly last week to get uh, one of your children here yeah. and get ready for school and everything. Uh, but it, in coaching, you're always trying to find that little something to get you out of a rut. And yeah. I, I'm sure what but but you never know, right? And to never come know. back and what, what did you think when you saw them when you got back before the match? No, I, you know, I said it after the game, all credit to the players, you know, I think we had been in a bit of a difficult spell. Yeah. We felt that we were close during that time. Um, we felt that if we could, um, you know, take our chances and defend a little bit better collectively at times, I think that, you know, we'd have had a lot of different sort of points ratio. But, you know, we've always reflected in the squad and we felt, we thought about it a couple of weeks ago and we'd started to assess all the players. Now we got to know them after 16 games. Obviously, right. that was still a huge part of it and their strengths and weaknesses and how they, how they sort of inter interact with each other. And we just felt maybe a bit of a system change would help us. Um, and the lads took it with both hands and ran with it and implemented it on the Saturday. And, and as you said, I think it's probably our most overall complete performance sure. just from with the ball and without the ball so very pleased for the, for the for them because they've been working so hard Tariq for, as far as you're concerned this system change without getting down in the weeds how much of a difference has it been for you and the team as a whole uh, honestly some players had to step up to the table and play different parts different roles like even I had to position myself higher up the field so everyone took on the information very well to stay focused and uh, you know like you said hear new voices uh, command us and right it, it went well everyone commuted communicated well and we were on the same page Sam it doesn't make any difference what the sport is there are some guys and uh, again I go back to the whole basketball and football thing some guys that say okay this is what I do and this is what we're gonna do yeah. and if you don't do it then we're gonna get somebody else that can do it but I think the really good coaches you know you've obviously got to have core beliefs and everything but then depending on the hand that you've got you, you're not afraid or so locked in that you're not willing to change no, I've, I, you know, I think I think that's it. I think that when we, like I said, when we assess the squad of where they are, and they've done brilliant. You know, the, the big thing for us over this first 14, 15 games is trying to build the relationships with players. It's you can't just flip things around left, right, and centre. Then the players start to lose belief, start to think that maybe there isn't a plan, and that's the last place you want to be in a team trying to trying to you know be successful. So. As I said, we, we tried different relationships in the same system and some of them work, some of them maybe need a little bit more time and right. we weren't getting the results that we want. So obviously it was, a, it was a big decision and a bold decision, but we made it collectively as a staff and we implemented it collectively as a staff and the players took it on. And you know, for us on Saturday, as I said, it, 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 it all bubbled up to where we wanted to be. The intensity was right. We had numbers around the ball. Yep. You know, we attacked and I think we had, we had players in in real dangerous positions that suited their game and I think that helped us also having an extra player in midfield and an extra player at the back. Sure. All right, we're going to talk some more about that system change coming up this afternoon on Football Friday. But remember, it is 5 o'clock tomorrow is uh, when the tailgate begins at Georgetown College's Toyota Stadium. Gates open at 530. The first touch is at 7. LexSporting.com tickets. Guys, thanks so much for being with us. And we'll see you next time here on Everyday Kentucky. Mm -hmm.